This is Ryan from Grow Shapes, your number one David reseller in the US. What I have here for you today is an SLS2 uh, David 4 package and a David TT1. This is the turntable. What I'll be doing today is an unboxing video. All right, so. In your SLS2, this is your scanner, tripod, um, essentially what you have is your camera, your projector. This is the entire package. Um, and the main thing is the dongle, which is very powerful. That's David 4 software. First unboxing video. Give me a break. <laughs> The trick is to always have a really, really sharp knife. You can barely press anything, it just kind of opens up for you. Okay, top protective layer. And then, of course, the box within the box. So, camera, projector, tripod. I wish we had a turbine engine. Ah. Dongle, SLS2 from Dave Systems. Ah. What's really cool here, let's see if you guys can see this. Instead of having to actually worry about packaging, they say that tab to rip. So you know it's brand new. Another, oh this is a very nice one. This is a foam covered board. Keep this with your box. You have your instruction manual. This is in many different languages. Uh, anything from, let's see, Ukrainian, English, German, of course. Very, very cool. Uh, okay. This is your calibration board. As you see here, this is the 120 millimeter, 60 millimeter, 30 millimeter. And the inside will be the 240 millimeter. This would be a small instruction manual for the projector. Uh, what they've done is they've used an Acer uh, projector in this unit. It's a K123. The David wiring. So let's make this guy up. The projector controls to do, do these mobily. It's always fun. This is a USB to mini USB. This would go to the back of the camera. And you have your, I don't have to use the knife for this one. There we go. Your David Ford dongle. This is going to be kind of the license agreement or license of this product. Great little unit. Make sure you always keep that with you. Attach to something important, don't break it. The magic of video editing back. Um, <laughs> so, what we have here is the universal uh, power adapter. What we see is a two prong unit here. This is actually uh, the IO port. Uh, for the back of the projector, so that should go with the projector unit. The included HDMI cable, again for the projector unit. Now 
on this one, this is what I was assuming we were going to find. This would be your universal adapter piece that goes directly to this. So you can see something like this would be Brennenstrache. This is a German, actually Australian, that'd be Austrian, excuse me, adapter. And the whole bag is full of them. So, for instance, how this works would be there's the US. Okay. This unit plugs into this piece. Okay. Need to remove the protective layer first. Child proof probably means Ryan proof. So I'm gonna use a knife for this. Usually I like plugging things into the wall when I use knives. Um, it helps quite a bit. The electrical shock is awakening, to say the least. Um, so you'd slide this back piece in to here. It's a one-way unit. You can tell this is rounded, this is straight. This is straight, this is rounded. So, okay, it locks in good. And push it in there, that's fully set. And then you'd say this piece. And this can go in just like that. You have your power adapter. Um, what you could do instead is since this is one of these standard three prong is you can go ahead and purchase just the uh, grounded three prong uh, if you like a power adapter for a laptop um, and that would work if you don't have this large unit with you okay what do we have next we have more computer cables this is the what do you call that PCI cable power adapter to this power adapter. So, get that one there. Beautiful tripod. Um, this is actually the tripod I'm shooting off of right now. We get a spare one. Um, what you do is you get the rock, I think it's called rock ball. Um, so the ball, piece, one inch ball, is fully adjustable. Uh, then it also has rotational. I'll show you. Also comes with a carrying case, which is really nice. This is by Triad. Or Ha no. And the model is Triad. Nice case. There are three steps in weight. So you have your largest adjustment, secondary, and third. Um, you can also adjust stoppers on how you want the angle to be. The ball mount, fully adjustable. You can lock that in, doesn't rotate, lock it in, doesn't rotate. Um, see, dimensions on this would be, it actually has a four kilogram load, which is pretty good. And uh, one thing that I like about this tripod is it has its own leveling unit right there. See, see that guys? So it's got its own level. Um, but overall, incredibly solid, really, really nice tripod and used. I've been using this one all week um, for various shoots across the Bay Area, and I love it. It's universal. I, I mean, drop it in for a camera and call it a day. So, here's the big unit. More 
more foam. We have here our projector and our camera. Um, when you go to shoot, you're going to want this anywhere between 20 and 25 degrees away from this angle. This, of course, would be a sliding unit. Then we have easy focusing on the projector. You have exposure and focusing on the camera. We'll have this in place so it doesn't distract me. Here's the head. Oh. Here's the head of the tripod, so you can loosen this one and move this on any one of these points. Okay. A foam backing piece, a foam base, and two legs for your uh, for your calibration table. There is one more thing I wanted to shoot before I uh, put everything away. This is the tripod. So, this is the mount that comes with the tripod. Releases, pops up. You guys already saw me do the, uh, the screw part here. Then when you go to lock in place, all you have to do is push down on that little gold piece. It locks in partially. And then you fully lock it. Boom, done solid. So really, really cool uh, tripod. I like it a lot.